What's going on, everyone? Um, I got a new headset, so I decided that, and also because I'm in the mood, I'm going to make a texture hack tutorial for Mario Kart Wii. Which, you know, it's been it's a little late, but well, people still are asking me, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and outline what you're going to need. So the first thing you'll need is a Mario Kart Wii ISO. So you can obtain that through Google and some various downloads. Um, or you can obtain that through using a retail copy into your Wii. And then you can download it into an ISO to your computer. Um, so once you have that, you can use Wii Scrubber, which is going to open the ISO up and allow you to import and export the files that you need, the SCS files that contain the textures. Um, and then once we're done, Im once we import or export them from the ISO to your computer, you can then open them with the SCS modifier, which will then allow you to edit the graphics and change pictures and banners and whatnot. And then once we're done, we, uh, we're going to burn it to a either blank DVD or RW or we're going to copy it to our hard drive using the WBFS manager which will be outlined later. So once you obtain your ISO, as I said, you need Wii Scrubber. Now all you do is Google Wii Scrubber and you'll find all the information you need and downloads to the latest version and once you do, usually you'll get it in a RAR or ZIP and you just want to open that RAR zip up and then you go ahead and uh, just copy these out of the RAR onto your, into a folder you'll need the key.bin generator which um, I'll put a link in the description or an annotation and you can get that and you need to generate a bin file and that will be the that allows WeScrubber to run and operate so once you have that operating, you can you'll then need the SCS modifier, which will allow you to edit the textures, as I said. And when you down, you always use Google the uh, Google SCS modifier, and Chatter's site will come right up, I believe. Just download the latest version, and it will prompt you to update if you know as you use it over time. Um, so it will keep itself up to date. But all you need to do is run setup.exe here, and it will install and be on your computer. So let's get started on what we, how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up Wii Scrubber. And so once we have this open, you can hit load ISO. And just double click your Mario Kart ISO. Now normally there's three partitions in your data, update, and installer. You need to, you want to go to the installer, or I mean, data, <laughs> and then race, course, and boom, here are all the courses labeled kind of confusingly. But we're just going to go ahead, and they're all, battle and race courses are in here, old and new, etc. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, pick one here, block battle.scs, which is obviously block plaza and you're just going to right click on it and uh, extract and I'm going to put it on the desktop and boom you have your SCS file so now you have that you can just double click it and it's going to open the SCS modifier alright so right here we have our file it's going to load like this with the root directory open here so you just click the plus or double click the uh, folder and these other these folders here anything is not the dot I found in the newest version the dot folder is the folder and you just want to come in here and then anything with the BRRES extension is likely to have textures in it a textures folder so let's just go and double click one of these and then you're looking for this um, the other ones, some like 3D models, can be used for custom course creation, but I won't get into that right now. So, moving on from that, we need to just double click this, and then, yes, let's see here. 
That's the shadow gray. And then, okay, so let's pick one here. All right, so we got our texture. You're just going to double click the preview over here. Boom, this will come up. And then you're going to File, Import. And I'll uh, have an image here. Let's see. Just double click the image. And you, see, you can say yes to this or no. It really doesn't matter, I don't believe. And then boom, it'll import. And it's just small here in the preview for some reason, but once I click save, it's the same size. And it stays proportional to the original image, which I would recommend picking an image that's slightly proportional so it doesn't look complete, completely stupid. <laughs> Alright, so once you've done that for every image in here, and yes, there are usually all these files here, BRRES files, you have textures in them. So you just, if you want to replace them all, you do that. It's got coins, etc. So once you've replaced all these images, you just go to File, Save. And then you can close SCS modifier. And now that we have this saved file here, it's completely edited with our new textures. We can come back to SCS modifier and right click on the original file, click replace, and then select the file that corresponds to this track. It should be the same file name. Double click it. It's going to replace and we'll prompt you and say successfully replaced. And bam, you have your new texture hacked track. So once you do that, you can exit Wii Scrubber. And at this point, you can either get ready to burn your ISO to a DVD, which I would use a program such as Nero. Um, IMG Burn will do it, free one. And just burn it. Select it and burn the image. Or if you're doing it to a hard drive, you can use we or WBFS Manager, and form. And if your drive's already formatted, just drag your ISO onto the program and load it, and add it to the drive, and then or get it formatted and uh, boom, just add it to drive, load your homebrew hacked Wii, um, and boom, you're playing your track. Select your track and go. So yes, I hope um, that covers everything. If it doesn't leave some comments in the uh, video comments and we'll get anything taken care of if I missed anything but I hope this helps people um, hope it drains the requests out of everyone and yeah so I hope this helps um, see you all later